Exactly. And I'll say, hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm here with Zen, we're just bitching about Dragon Ball games. We're gonna keep I'm gonna keep playing some of this good old living. Shit about Dragon Ball games as we play some Dragon Ball games. Oh yeah. That's how it's going. I'm not feeling wow, look at this oh, clean ass Krillin. That this... is not at all what Kid Krillin looks like. No, it doesn't. Uh, this guy looks first of all way too good looking to be Kid Krillin. Kid Krillin looked like fucking Mr. Potato Head. He did. It's actually one of the best things about him. This one looks like a um, a redrawn Krillin. It looks like a chibi version of adult Krillin. Yes, that's actually more accurate to what he looks like. So we're training with Roshi. Um, it's uh, Our entire part two playthrough got fucked up because we were playing uh, the Dragon Ball theme song. <laughs> we got too invested in... Uh gotta find those dragon balls exactly and i don't regret it but it is unfortunate that that got destroyed all right let's see if i remember the controls of this someone was telling me that there is like special moves you can do and i i forgive me if i don't remember how to do one i, I don't doubt that there are special moves you can do i just doubt that we're ever going to actually do them i'm sure they exist especially with me in the current state that i'm in where i just feel like shit so I'm just hoping to not fall over some damn pitfalls. But yeah. Um, I love his dopey ass little fat kid run that he does. Yeah, it's pretty good. Your Naruto, nice. your Naruto run ain't got shit. Also, this kid Goku, I need this burger. Thank you. I need this disgusting plains burger that's been out here on the fucking ground. That's how kid Goku do. Oh, wow. I can't believe I was actually able to jump that. And then, of course, there's nothing here. Just shows goes to show you, kids. Sometimes you try and then nothing happens. Oh, but I'm invincible now. But yeah, we were talking about shitty Dragon Ball games, uh, specifically the collectible card game, which is un undeniably the worst Dragon Ball game in existence. Uh, it, we were talking about how you know there's all of those fucking YouTube videos. It's like worst Dragon Ball games ever made, and that isn't on it, and so automatically you know they're fucking wrong, or, yes. or either that or they've never played Dragon Ball games before. Mm -hmm. Yes. They... All they do is play whatever fucking arena fighter drops every year. Yeah, so they're just like Budokai, Tenkaichi, whatever, Attack Attack of the Sands on GameCube or whatever that Day of the Sands, is that what it was called? I have You're... no idea. <laughs> I maybe. There's a lot of bad Dragon Ball games and we, I think I'm dedicated to at least giving every Dragon Ball game it's due, god damn it. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> I hate that try once again. Um, I think I've said it before that I don't like, um, that I, I don't like it when it looks like I'm bad at video games, <laughs> which is unfortunate. <laughs> uh, cause I feel like, I feel like I'm, if I can toot my own horn, I'm pretty okay at video games. And anytime I do bad, I think one time there's a, there was an unreleased video where I did with the Mimeo Force where we were playing Cuphead and I was doing really good and they were like, wow, uh, you're doing actually really good. You're actually able to talk to us and play this game. And then I messed up once and I said, God damn it, I'm fucking garbage. This is unbelievable. Why is anyone watching this? Look at this fucking game. Unbelievable. Why are people watching me be garbage at this video game? Um, so it always makes me feel really uh, sad when I'm bad at video games. <laughs> Cause, <laughs> especially because I feel like that's not me, bro. I'm very good. Trust me. And of course, I already got this. It'd be me so. sucking at this game right now. Yeah. Uh, another good example is that I recently released a solo video because we were so busy on the D free stuff of me trying to edit it, and we only had D free for I think no, he wasn't a limited time. He he had a um, Golden Frieza's info was about to come out, so at any moment he had to you know drop it and probably you know wake up Hydros from whatever. Uh, damn it <laughs> i've fallen down while i was trying to make a joke on hydro so that just shows my badness <laughs> <laughs> wherever he needs to wake up to do the data downloads. Respect bites you in the ass once again god damn it this is what happens you can't be funny and good at video games at the same time it's impossible <laughs> that's why uh all ajtq videos are just dudes going like all right and we call yeah, this that's why age that's why fucking games done quick is the most boring shit on the planet because <laughs> It's all of them. It's like one guy on a mic explaining shit that you don't understand to no. you. And the, and to be fair, I, I really like I really like it because it's like I'm used to people just being like very like the, usually it's people being funny while playing a video game, and this is something that's like obviously you are very like dedicated to this and insanely good, 
and you're not able to tell me why you're good at this why you're so good at like b blocks for the nintendo 64 or something <laughs> but i will gladly watch you be good and that seems like fun for me. Now. Yeah, I had a friend uh, a few years ago that I mean, I guess I guess had a friend. He's still my friend, but <laughs> uh, he uh, he uh, he was the world record holder in Tomba on the PlayStation One. Hell yeah! <laughs> now that's something worth what having. A fucking random game. Whenever you think of a speedrunner, you're like, oh, Ocarina of Time, and this is fucking Tomba. That's really good. I think I currently hold, and I never was actually um, did it, so I never. It was never official, but I hold the world record in uh, uh, X X Two Wolverine's Revenge for the Game Boy Advance during the Valley <laughs> stream. I was able to beat it before anyone else, and there was only one other recorded time, and I was able to beat that. So, as far as I'm concerned, I am the greatest at X Men Origins Wolverine, not X Men Origins Wolverine. X Two Wolverine's Revenge. Uh, what a lofty title. I mean, yeah, you gotta, you know, respect, respect the, you have to respect me for that, um, for what I did on that live stream, okay? Because that game is a god-awful piece of shit. And it sounds it. It was really bad, and then I have to deal with, like, Common and uh, Lolagami talking to me about how Goten was being treated badly on Super or something. So I had to listen to a bunch of bullshit, which is what I'll call that. <laughs> bunch of distracting shit that didn't matter exactly i was over here trying to rescue these kids as wolverine and they're talking about oh man what i want to see in super and stuff i'm like i don't care which is great because if you ever want to see me get angry and yell at common that video that uh that live stream has me do that <laughs> because common did the unfortunate thing of asking like wow you're still on this boss and i said yeah i'm still on this boss <laughs> like let me <laughs> And then Let for, me fucking do my thing. How about uh, I don't have people like chirp chirping in my fucking ear talking about shit like Goten. I died again. Fuck this game. <laughs> I swear I'm good. <laughs> I swear I'm good at video games. <laughs> the, in that statement, erodes died by the death. Uh, come on. Uh, the worst thing is I have to start from the beginning, and these levels are long. <laughs> Let's see, all right. Let's see, because that's the same burger. I'm not even go for it. I'm just gonna fucking straight up run. I don't even care. The burger. Uh, so yeah, a lot of fun times. But yeah, a lot. Uh, if you're gonna say some of the worst Dragon Ball games, if collectible card game is not number one, I want to hear your thesis on why this other Dragon Ball game is as bad as that one. Yeah, I want. I want you to explain to me in detail why this Dragon Ball fighter that you fucking hate because it has too many Frieza soldiers in it is worse than a game that literally tries to explain complicated card game mechanics to you with four words per card. Yeah, and then it also has one of those weird things. I didn't get into it because you couldn't see it, but the, um... Oh, I was about to fall to my death. But, um... When you press A, you don't go to the next part of the message. The message... You have to actually press down on the button to see what other parts of the message in during the tutorial. So if you press A thinking like, okay, now he's ready to tell me the next part of this, you never hear it because you just skipped Great. it. <laughs> Good. So, you know, bad games. And there are definitely some, like the GT Dragon Ball fighting game is notoriously awful. Uh, oh, what is uh, Final Bout. Yeah, Final Bout, which existed during a time where you would import games from Japan and you didn't know any better. So you're like, man, this game... It has Dragon Ball and it's GT. Yay, Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah. I remember watching, um, so my TV channel, like back in the day, the kids will never understand this, but my TV had a Japanese channel that would get um, Dragon Ball GT stuff in anime, but it was all in Japanese. So I didn't, there was no subtitles. It was just all in Japanese. So I would watch it like that. So it'd be like, there would be no subtitles at all. I had no idea what's going on. Goku's doing whatever the fuck. But I watched it like that because that was the only way for me to get anime that was not um, translated. That was the same way I watched the uh, the Tenchi Muyo. <laughs> <laughs> the same way I watched Muyo. <laughs> Strong feelings about Tenchi Muyo in this, in this playthrough. Uh, well, let me tell you right now. If you want to hear... My extended thoughts about Tenchi Muyo, I will gladly get into it because I love Tenchi Muyo. 
I remember watching Tenchi Muyo and going, man, I am excited for when this is over and Dragon Ball comes on. And listen, man, you just didn't understand it at the time. It was a, uh, it was basically just a horror manga that occasionally had battle scenes in it. Yeah, I could, I knew that much. Yeah, because there was a bunch of women in it, so that was fun. Uh, and every single one of them wanted the guy's dick, even though the guy was like the worst thing ever. Yes. Yes, that's accurate to all harems, for the most part. <laughs> there is no good harem protagonist, because all of them are usually pretty bad. I'll say the one in Yuna is pretty good, and also We Can't Study. For all the people out there still out there getting it done, as far as harem mangas are concerned, those are for harem manga uh, to read. There you go. The We Can't Study on the Shonen Jump app. They didn't get uh, Yashibo, whatever, the samurai guy, but they got We Can't Study. Uh, my favorite horror manga is uh, Jojo Part 7, Steel Ball Run. Uh, you guys should all read that. It's a pretty good horror manga, I would say. It has uh, <laughs> the it has maybe a, a whole bunch of weird fetishes all in one, <laughs> so it makes it, it really good. It has a lot, yeah. <laughs> it, has, it has more than you realize until after you re-examine a chapter. It also has the only... Um, the only Beatles reference ever with in terms of a Beatles name, and it's Ringo. So, Araki picking the good Beatle member. <laughs> He's like, this one's never done anything bad, I think. So, there we go. He's going to be this one. I think one. it also has the first uh, appeal to dinosaur fetishists, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes. And again, not going too into it. You should read Steel Ball Run. Shame that should, that's... It, it's... As someone who loves JoJo in all of its forms, uh, Steel Ball Run is tied for first place for me. It is. Um, I, th- I don't think we've ever gone into it, but I would agree with you on that, except for some of the ending stuff I'm not a big fan of. And it's for very in, specific. Uh, in Steel Ball Run? Yes. After, after There's a certain point where I feel like if they had uh, ended it a little bit sooner than that, I think it would have been basically the quintessential jojo one in my is it is it the weird little little portion where the story is over and then it keeps going for like three chapters kind of but let me put it it's the villain is done with and yet the it continues onward here's my greatest foe by the way i just fucking spoil still on is it dio yes it is dio when (laughs) okay when dio comes back yeah well he doesn't come back but no, that's what, you know, that, just the it's idea. It's not even of like, really a spoiler because you won't even fucking understand it, even if I explain it to you. Just read Steel Ball Run. Yeah, Steel Ball uh, Run. But when he when he shows up, and you're like, I really feel like this should have been over. I didn't like yeah, any of that stuff. It, that was definitely like, I, I it was weird, but I still really liked it because I was like, oh shit, I was still so because I was reading it all at once, just like straight through. Yeah, and same, I was so fucking way. keyed up from everything that had just happened. To be fair, the... Shit, something else is happening. <laughs> Somebody stop him. Yeah, it's a lot of just, like, the run to the end. It's it's some crazy... It's... Steel Ball Run, again, I can't emphasize enough. I feel like that's the only... There there was some other end stuff that I remember just, like, not liking. But overall, it is fan-fucking-tastic. There is no... I think it has the best pairing. And the greatest thing about it is that it's basically what I feel like is a retelling of Part 1 with Araki more confident in what he wanted to tell in his stories. Sort of. It, it's it's. I'm trying to think of a good way to explain it. Ah, it's oh my god! One. I almost fucking died. I didn't see that there was a fucking hole there. It's part one in America, and more shit is going on that you actually care about. Yes. So that's what I mean about like it being kind of a. Uh, it's not. It's not a reboot of part one. It is a better someone coming back to what they were good at and being like, let me take another shot at this. Also, I think I'm going to be yeah, fine. It, yeah, a reboot implies that it, like, is just part one again. No, and it's it, not. It's, a it's, comple- not. it's completely different. It, just, it has a lot of similar, like, beats to part one. Also, I think this is the part where Krillin's going to trick me. Krillin. going to throw the stone? Wow, I got the rock. Giant picture of Jonathan holding up the rock. <laughs> I have Hamon because I can even pick up this rock. The co- <laughs> the competitive world is a harsh one. Really <laughs> fucking Wor- save words. We'll come back with more part seven and also chase down this fucker called Krillin on the next episode. See you all then. 